Feel them beats. Feel them beats. That's a an original by this guy and DJ Fan Service. If you didn't know, now you know. But <clears throat> I've been neg ah, neglecting this box. I set this up last third Saturday, and I was like, all right, little Ask Mega Cisco box. Didn't think anyone would put anything in here because I just put in this chunky little box. But uh, <clears throat> I'm still feeling really good after my Nine Tails solo. Like I had a celebration beer, and I might be a little more honest than I'm usually am. But uh, let's just let's just get this box done, man. <clears throat> All right, so I got a question here. Ask Mega Cisco, first edition. You hear? You heard it first. Who is your favorite Anchorage Instinct trainer? Well, that's tough because uh, he just left. It's you, Nine Volt. <laughs> You're not technically Anchorage, but you know, uh, a lot of good times with you. You're just down for everything hiking, almost biking. If you had a bike, I'm pretty sure you'd go out. Um, you were there on the mountain with us. You have like just the same core values. Like, we don't target people, we just do areas. You just have a really good time playing the game, and I respect that. And uh, wish you the best in San Antonio. Hope you grow your community over there. Because, like, yeah, we miss you here. That's you. <laughs> All right, next. <clears throat> I'm just really just picking these out of no, no order. Let's see what this one says. What is your favorite part of being the Anchorage... I can't read. I'm dyslexic. What is your favorite part of being... What is your favorite part of being a part of the Anchorage Pogo community? That was really weird and weirdly worded, but we're going to go for that. I think we have a great community. I think we have a great, passionate core. We have passion here in Anchorage. It's great. Like, you know, we may not get along all the time, but there's a big passion for the game. And... And I'm glad that we're doing these third Saturday things like to keep the game fresh, even in the winter. I'm glad we're doing raids. People are still doing it in the winter. Um, uh, you know, still going out <clears throat> hunting in our wee hours. Cause it's mostly night right now. Like our days are so short, but Anchorage lends itself to, uh, just due to the fact that, you know, it's kind of cold and we stay inside. We tend to our nerdy things just an Anchorage community, like we have a big fighting game community, Magic the Gathering's big here, Warhammer, but yeah, just the passion in our game is still alive and that's what I love about it. Love. All right, let's keep going. Uh, okay. Jeez, these sticky notes are the worst. <laughs> oh man, am I even getting audio here? Audio, check, okay. Cool. Oh man. <clears throat> what is your favorite trainer name you have seen? <laughs> well, thank you to this is not sponsored at all, but I want to give a shout out to uh Midnight Sun and the Panty Peeler, because that's just fueling the honesty right now. <clears throat> so in the summertime I was doing a <laughs> a Zapdos raid in the south side, actually, where um near Southport, right off 100 in Victor. And in our lobby was a Valor player named Sad Sex Number Number. Something Sad Sex 36, I don't know, but uh, it was just like, it just stuck out to me. I'm like, man, that is your identity in this game. Yes. But it's just stuck out to me. I'm like, that is just... <laughs> Pure. I'm pretty sure people have had that before, and it it's a great name, and that's your trainer identity. I hope you never use your name change on it. I hope you actually already use your name change and you're stuck with that. Sad sex, thirty six. <clears throat> okay. I've got to figure out another way to do these sticky notes. What is your favorite color? Can't say yellow because it sucks. <laughs> Who 
wrote these? Who wrote these, man? Um, <laughs> my favorite color is green. I'm naturally, when I was a kid, I was four years old, uh, even younger, my favorite thing was this Kermit the Frog pillow. It just had Kermit the Frog and a banjo. You just be like this, this, one with a broken string. But I think from then on, I just had a thing with green. So, um, yeah, even my little bracelet, <clears throat> I couldn't, I, I could have made a yellow one, but I went green. I, I had to keep it real. Like if I ever play Harry Potter, I'm going green, guys. Next. <clears throat> Will, <clears throat> Will you be guiding any pogo trips to Japan? That's funny. I was just asked this today. If there's sufficient interest, I am willing and able to, I speak Japanese, I know the lay of the land, I know all the grind spots, well, most of them. The whole island is a grind spot, all four of them. If there's sufficient interest, I will guide tours to Japan. I've done it before. We're gonna see not only tons of Magikarp, you'll get your medal without any maps. Easy peasy. And we're gonna see some awesome, awesome things. One of my favorite things about Japan is they have this thing called nomi hodai, which means all you can drink. All you can drink for 30 minutes, no, not 30, from 60 to 90 minutes. And it's like from either like 10 bucks, 20 bucks for that allotted time. America couldn't handle this. They couldn't. I mean, I can say that's going to be part of the tour, but you know, it might be part of the tour. But... <clears throat> We would go up and down. They have these awesome things called the rail pass. Let's you go up on the JR line, up and down the country. Best thing ever. And I would be honored for you to come with me on my Japan tour. Hit me up. <laughs> what is your dream pogo destination? Easy, Europe. Don't have a Mr. Mime. There's two new uh, regionals in, in Europe. Uh, <clears throat> Plussel's counterpart and like uh, Zangoose's uh, enemy. I don't know Gen 3, but if I did, I'd know their names. But Europe, anywhere in Europe, totally. <clears throat> That's my dream. Finish the decks. This is the last one. Uh, I just have some random stuff in here I'm gonna give away for the next pogo, but uh. <laughs> Are you single? Oh, you guys are killing me. Um, let's just say, if you communicate like Niantic does, you'll stay single. Well, that's it for the first uh, edition of Ask Mega Cisco. I'll have this box out our next third Saturday, which is the 16th, be there. And if you need to donate your toys for Toys for Tots, go to Willowa by Tuesday the 12th. <clears throat> and I'll have this out, I'll ask, answer more questions for you if you have them. But I'm just uh, still high off that nine tail solo. And that's the only reason I've like finally had the cojones to like pick up this box and answer the phone. But you guys have a great time. Like honestly, I did it with the lowest possible Pokemon possible, so I believe anyone in Anchorage has a chance to get that nine tails. You guys can do it. Do it. Do it. Uh, bonus questions. Someone asked me today. <clears throat> was, hmm. People are wondering, what are you doing in the Stardust? Wouldn't you like to know? Be excellent. See you next Rantar. Be good. <laughs> <laughs>